All right, Assembly Democrat Carl Hastie of the Bronx was just voted in as the state's first African-American speaker, right at the top of our newscast, in fact. And for more, we go down to our Kimberly Howard, our Capitol reporter, who's live in the chambers. Kimberly, what can you tell us? A, a milestone day, really, for the Assembly. Sure, there's certainly a lot of... A lot of excitement here. A moment in history, as you mentioned, the first African American ever elected as Assembly Speaker. He just finished his speech up moments ago. You can take a look. He's sitting in the, on the perch that was held by Sheldon Silver for 21 years prior to this. A couple of things he said during his speech. He admitted he's a man of few words, saying this is the longest speech we'll ever give. He uh, recognized Keith Wright, Joe Lentil, Kathy Nolan, and Joe Morelli, all people who had originally thrown their hat into the ring uh, before they dropped out and, and Hasty became the clear front runner and he was unanimously elected uh, as you said uh, just in the last half hour as the new speaker he said talked about the need to uh, democratize the assembly he says that there should be a zero tolerance policy for sexual harassment he called for a reform within the assembly talking about a cap on outside income and scaling back the power of the speaker meanwhile he also talked about legislative pay raises which actually led to some applause after that so that should be interesting we will hope to ask him some questions later about these transparency issues that have been going on after everything that's been happening with Sheldon Silver um, especially after this decision was made after those closed door meetings at least uh, unofficially made with Democrats behind closed doors yesterday but as you mentioned officially just made moments ago here in the assembly they are finishing up it appears now uh, also talked about a uh, resolution to honor Dr. Martin Luther King so we will stick on this for you we will be live here later on this evening and of course we'll have updates online as well we're live at the Capitol Kimberly Howard CBS 6 News and we look